Hey guys, I'm Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is what I was thinking about doing as part one of a series on closets. We moved into this house about a year and a half ago. It was a new construction when we bought it. And there is, off of our master bedroom, there's a master bathroom. And then there is a closet off of our master bathroom. And right now, it's just an empty room. There's absolutely nothing in it. It's just an empty room. I have all of my makeup splayed out all over the floor. And I have a mirror. And I sit on the floor every morning and put my makeup on in that room. But there are no clothes in it. There's no racks. There's no hanging. There's nothing in this closet. We are currently storing our clothes in two bedrooms at the opposite end of the house. So my husband has one bedroom closet and I have another bedroom closet. So that's what we have going on right now. It's, it's very annoying and I'm totally ready. Thankfully, uh, my husband has agreed to not put any of his items in this closet that we're building. He's agreed to put all of his stuff in a separate wardrobe that we're going to build in the bedroom. We have not built that wardrobe yet. Uh, and it's going to be put off for a little while because we have some other projects that we'd rather do first. But it's super sweet that he offered to let me have this closet all to myself. And it's like a huge dream of mine. To, I, I never thought that I would be able to have a closet like this. I, I'm so excited and so thankful that we're able to do this. And I cannot wait for it to get installed. Hey, so, okay. So we're in my bathroom right now. So I'm going to show you the inside of our closet for the before picture and basically how we have it laid out generally for the closet plans. We're here in my bathroom. Here's our tub. We have a frosted glass window. Here's the shower. The door to the right is the toilet closet and then the linen closet is that slimmer one. And then right ahead is our actual closet. That is the door to the closet. So please don't mind the mess when we go in and check everything out. But this is the actual room. And it's a pretty good sized room. It's an eight by 10 room. So it's way bigger than anything I ever expected to have as a closet in my life. Um, it has carpet right now and we're getting the carpet removed. We're getting the carpet removed. We're going to put in engineered hardwood floors that match our living room, that dark hardwood. And the vent that's back um, over here right now is actually going to move to this side of the room. So we've got a little bit of, of construction that's got to happen with this room before the closet's installed. The masking tape that's along the floor is what I used as part of the planning process for figuring out the layout of the closet and how much space I needed for hanging, shoes, handbags, accessories, all that stuff. So right here um, behind the door is going to be hanging all the way up to the ceiling. Everything is going up to the ceiling. That is one of the reasons that we decided to go with California closets is because they could custom build everything all the way up to the ceiling to take advantage of all the space that we have. So. If you see here where this juts out, those are all gonna be shoe shelves, again, all the way up to the ceiling. Then we're gonna have another section of hanging. Then right here, this little area is all gonna be handbags all the way up. Then there's another section of drawers that's halfway up right to those masking tape lines. And then there's gonna be a mirror and then some shelves above that. And then there's going to be another per section on the other side, so it's going to be symmetrical. Over on the other wall here, we're going to have more hanging right there. And then another half section of drawers up to that masking tape. And then off to the side, we're going to have another direction. This is all going to be dresses right there. I don't have a ton of dresses. I'm not really a dress person in general, so I don't need a large area for dresses. And sorry about all the mess. So I had all my makeup out scattered around trying to plan out the makeup drawers to figure out how many drawers I needed, where I wanted to put things, all that stuff. And then I just never did anything with it. So this is what it is right now. And this is actually um, where I do my makeup every morning. Currently, I sit right here on the floor in front of this mirror. And then I have my makeup off to the side and I just do my makeup there in the morning. So I'm really excited to get this done. <laughs> So this square area here is going to be the vanity. 
So this is where I'm gonna be doing makeup. I'm going to have a mirror in this whole space. That whole section is gonna be a big mirror. And then I'm gonna have drawers off to the side for storage underneath the vanity. And I'm also gonna have cabinets up along the top and then some open shelving over here too for more storage. And I'm super excited because I'm going to put in a skincare fridge. Ta-da! Oh my God, I'm so excited to be able to put in a skincare fridge. Like, this is insane. I, I, it's gonna be amazing. That's pretty much our closet before we do anything to it. We are, like I said, we're gonna have to get some construction done to it, a little bit of renovation before they come and install the closet. But we're super excited for this whole process and to be able to utilize this space appropriately because right now it kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm also gonna be changing out this light fixture. Gonna be getting a good old fashioned chandelier. So that's part one of um, this closet series that I was wanting to do. I, if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and like this video if this is something that you're interested in. Thank you, see you next time.